The Middle Ages were a notable era in the history of Europe. The concept of a culturally separate Europe started to take shape during the Middle Ages, also known as the Medieval Era. The Crusades and Papal Monarchy both occurred during this period. Europe's Medieval Era was both dynamic and upheaval-filled. It prepared the ground for Europe's Renaissance Golden Age. The cities which have been preserved in Europe as a souvenir of the medieval times are a sight for sore eyes. And thus, Top 10 Places brings to you the list of the top 10 most beautiful medieval places to visit in Europe for a beautiful vacation. Click subscribe and smash that like button before we start the video. Thank you. Now let's get on to the video. Number 10. Erze in France Despite its tiny size, Erze is one of the few genuine medieval cities erected in the Alps. The tiny village's streets are so old and congested that you can only get around on foot. It is mostly located on the mountainside that raises to the Centenaire Palace. Although Erze isn't particularly spectacular, it has an old world back alley feeling that maintains its strong medieval aura. The city calls itself Site Medieval. It calls itself this on all regional town maps and directories since it is so proud of its medieval aesthetic. Walt Disney hired a hotel room in the center of town permanently because it felt like you were entering a hidden path around every curve and up every flight of stairs. We adore how many hotels are so closely packed together that they use cobblestone streets as temporary halls. Actually, many of the small shops are cut into mountainsides caves. Even a brief visit to Erze leaves a sweet aftertaste that you will immediately miss. Number 9. York in England York is one of the very few locations in England where you may still walk on top of a city wall that dates back to the Middle Ages. Constantinus Chlorus, the first Roman emperor to construct the wall, died in York six years after it was completed. The wall was later strengthened during the Middle Ages. The impressive two-mile-long stone wall is the longest remaining medieval wall in England and is still 95% intact. In addition to the wall, York boasts numerous magnificent huge city gates, albeit with their peculiar naming conventions. It can be confusing because, in York, the city gates are referred to as bars, while the streets are called gates for whatever reason. Make sure to find a pub and not a bar if you want to get a drink. The 60 snickleways or alley-sized streets that make up York city center are the coolest thing in town. The roots of the streets laid out during this time when York was populated by thatched roof buildings and ruled by Vikings may actually be seen in the medieval passageways which are flanked with residences from the 1300s to the 1400s. The Jorvik History Center offers an insight into the history of the Vikings. Number 8. Nuremberg in Germany Nuremberg was one of the most beautiful cities in all of Europe prior to being extensively attacked in World War II because it was a Nazi stronghold. Fortunately, enough of the city survived to allow Nuremberg to steadily rebuild over the years and re-establish itself as a top tourist destination. The Kaiserberg Castle, the main draw of the city, was built around 1050. The castle is located at the highest point in Nuremberg, giving it excellent views of the city and serving as a natural fortification. We appreciate the historic castle's more understated appearance compared to some of Germany's other extravagant fantasy castles that were constructed after the Middle Ages. Many efforts have been undertaken to rebuild the castle's damaged areas since it was bombarded during World War II. Number 7. Heiligenbrunn in Austria The town of Heiligenbrunn is the undiscovered jewel of Austria. The tiny city of Heiligenbrunn is not well known to tourists, yet when you consider the early Middle Ages, there might not be a better preserved city. When you visit Heiligenbrunn, it almost doesn't feel like real life because the majority of the homes have thatched roofs. Though historically, the community is best renowned for its adorable Hobbit-style homes with thatched roofs, don't underestimate the wine. Although the wine, which date back to 1225 AD, was previously outlawed for being excessively potent, it is now perfect and great plants can be seen growing everywhere. Number 6. A Villa in Spain Villa, Spain's nearly two mile long city wall, is unquestionably the best medieval city walls in the entire world. The city was founded as a Roman town, but it reached its apex between 1088 and 1600 because of its incredible wall. The 40 foot tall wall, which is 10 feet thick and has 100 drum towers and more than 2,500 merlins on top, has nine enormous gates and looks like something out of a fantasy novel. The city's interior is also outstanding because it has high density of gothic churches nationwide. If you're still watching this video, then don't forget to click on that bell icon and subscribe. Number 5. Cinque Terre in Italy the colourful collection of five little towns that make up Cinque Terre cling to great terraced cliffs are a medieval joy. 
These enchanting fishing communities have existed for many centuries, but it was the walls built during the Middle Ages that allowed them to survive unharmed. You can still see parts of the wall that were constructed to prevent pirates from securing the cities. In addition to eating, we enjoy exploring the historic buildings, cobblestone streets, and lookout towers. The area is famous for its fresh seafood, wine, and pesto, among other things. Cinque Terre is all about leisurely travel between the villages, dining and unwinding. You'll never want to leave as you stroll through the congested, empty streets and gaze up at the vividly coloured clusters of the houses. Number 4. Colmar in France Colmar is the spot that comes to mind when you think of a village from the Disney's Beauty and the Beast. Half-timbered homes in vibrant colours, weeping willow trees and canals from the Lausch River give Colmar a picture postcard appearance. The Fishmongers District, Little Venice, where you can hire a rowboat, a ton of famous structures from the 1500s to 1600s, and one of Europe's top Christmas markets are just a few of Colmar's must-see sites. The Auvers Notre Dame Art Museum, which is located at the base of the city's cathedral and houses some of the finest medieval sculptures and paintings in the upper Rhine River Valley, is our favourite place to visit in Colmar. Colmar began as a small rural wine-producing hamlet and swiftly rose to prominence as the region's wine king. Given that the Alsace region is well known as the Route du Vin or Wine Road, this achievement is quite remarkable. By the Middle Ages, goods were being transported from Colmar's Horborg Weir Harbour to distant parts of Europe. The perfect white wines produced in the city today include Riesling, Gewurztraminer, Pinot Gris, and Muscat d'Alsace. Number 3. Siena in Italy the Piazza del Campo, located in the heart of Siena, was designed in the 1300s and is regarded as the best Italian medieval plaza. The well-known plaza, which is shaped like an inverted clamshell, continues to be Siena's center point, with visitors unwinding and people watching all day. There are other magnificent medieval castles in Siena, including Castillo del Celsa and the Castello Meleto Castle Winery, in addition to the lovely city of Siena itself. The magnificent Castello di Baron Riccasoli, where Chianti wine was first produced, is one of the favourite local castles to explore. The castle on this estate, built in 1141, and the family that owns it are two of the Tuscany's most renowned winemakers. Number 2. Rothenburg in Germany the tiny German town of Rothenburg appears to be stuck in the Middle Ages. The virtually unaltered Rothenburg of der Taube is arguably one of the most authentically preserved medieval cities in all of Europe. The community expanded around the Conrad III of Germany's royal castle and rose to prominence in the Middle Ages as a result of its strategic location at intersection of vital European trade routes. You would enjoy exploring Rothenburg's hidden gems, but the best thing to do at night is to take the incredibly amusing hour-long Night Watchman's tour. Travel just to meet the funny Night Watchman, who will entertain you while educating you about Rothenburg's history and the Watchman's duties. If you want authenticity, pleasure, and adventure, Rothenburg is the ideal medieval village in Europe to visit. And finally, number one, Prague, the Czech Republic. Prague is the best preserved large medieval city in Europe, with a city core that was largely spared from World War II bombardment that destroyed other national capitals. Although some of the other medieval European cities are smaller or still have their city walls, Prague has a unique atmosphere that helps transport you back in time. Prague is our favourite city because it's both large enough to be spectacular and small enough to feel cosy and warm. Prague is a tourist's favourite medieval city in Europe because of its magnificent architecture, vibrant culture, excellent drinking, and even a sizeable urban castle. You'll adore this historic hideaway if you enjoy travelling to feel as though you've entered a foreign planet with a totally distant culture. And with that, we have come to the end of today's video. We hope we helped you choose your next destination to visit if you're a lover of classic cities. Don't forget to refer to other videos on our channel and smash that like button. Click subscribe and stay tuned for our next top 10s.